What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the MTV crew. Oh shoot, what's going on guys? Welcome to the MTV crib. Come on in. Today we have some kind of unfortunate news we want to share with you guys. The MTV crib that you guys have learned to love so much is no longer. We're leaving the house. Very, very soon. You guys Transitioning. Have, yeah, we're transitioning. You guys have seen us film countless videos here. We've made a ton of content, made some awesome memories in this very spot. But we're sad to say that it's not gonna be here anymore. We're, we're moving, we're leaving. We've moved, we've moved we've on. We've outgrown our under roofs. Yeah. It's basically. Well, but before we get out of here, we wanna kinda take a moment to recap the house, recap this past year because it was an amazing year for us. We started this whole dream off with like four dudes, a thousand dollars in the bank, and we're here now pumping on some like sick content. We've made our own baits, we got our own rods. And it's all been possible because of this crib and Mystery Tackle Box. MTV were the first people to kind of believe in a bunch them. of Googans. Like literally, we are Googans and you guys know that. So um, yeah, before we part ways with this house, we wanna take a moment to kind of go over all the amazing memories that we've collected over this year. So let's start, on yeah, let's start with the first memory. <laughs> Uh, and this is cleanup day, by the way. Me and John are doing some cleanup while some of the other yes. Googans are away, giving us an opportunity to snag anything that is available. Including some juicy tackle. Welcome back to another Googan Squad episode. Can't stop Won't stop. He's on the roof. Battle all top. Bring it back. Bring it back. Don't shake it, no! Bring it back. Bring it back. One of the craziest videos I think we ever filmed was, of course, that Nerf battle. So this tape right here marked a respawn zone. I think you got shot in the butthole a couple times. I got shot in the butthole multiple times with yeah. heavy artillery nerf darts, so. Not the best memory I can think of, but uh, let's move on to some of the better ones. So this is the second room we moved on to. This is the dining room table, the official dining room table, which uh, to be quite honest, I think we've eaten dinner at maybe twice. It's, it's on, on me right now. It's on John. Hey, right what's now. going on guys? Um, so, this is the Guggen, this is the Guggen this table, right? table, yeah. Wow. This is, this is the first ever supper. Guggen. This is the first supper. First, yeah, this yeah. is the first, this oh, is here. legitimately the first supper. We got a um, oh wow, nice, nice angle right there. Right. It, it has served the purpose of the tackle spot. This is where we bring in all of like the big boxes of tackle that we get from Guggen Bates and also, of course, MTB. This just happens to be a fresh package from MTB. Look at all that juice in this, bro. Dude, Are we gonna be able to grab this since no one else is here? Absolutely. This is all for us. There's still some really good stuff in here. Oh, juice nuggets. There's actually a bunch of these crank baits. What's of these. Me and Rob caught a bunch of these on, on one of our last videos That's that we did. Off, bro. Cranked on them with that, so. Mm. Okay, me and you are gonna snag dibs on this. And if you wanna get some of these juice pieces sent to your doorstep, your crib, make sure to sign up. Link is down below for Mystery Tackle Box. Choose one. Maybe you want a pro box. That's what I normally go with. They got original boxes, they got elite boxes. They got whatever to suit your dangling needs. We have to give them a huge thank you too because I mean, they're the ones that made this whole deal possible. This is the MTB crib. And to think that uh, when we partnered up with them, they just had like an MTB Pro Box, a Bass Box, a few others, and now they've got like shopcarls.com and all this stuff is insane. So while we've grown, we've watched them grow. So that's pretty dope. Anyway, like Justin said, get some dopeness. Save some money Link in the at the same time. Yeah. And we need you. We need you to support them because they support us and this next warehouse it's gonna be mega huge. Dyke. Mega right. huge. Let's um. We need you. It's gonna be strong flavors, good nutrition, and then you're gonna hit it with a dessert. It down with oh, a nice gonna, coffee we're dessert go smoothie. We're gonna go open hatch down. Nice, very good. I like your style. Okay, first bite. Just looking at it, it looks cooked pretty good. Okay. We said medium rare. Yeah, medium rare. We're there. Sure like it. Over here, uh, we still have some random gourds. From Gorda Juice. Did they ever go bad? But I don't think Gorda's ever, long? well, uh, there's, there's corn Later. here. But we had a lot of catch and cooks uh, focused right here. This is the this, judging this spot. This is where I forgot about we come that. here, we, we judge. We were judged, uh, and I lost a couple of them, surprisingly. 
surprisingly. Why? <laughs> ah. Let's move on to the ketchup. Okay, where yeah. the ketchup cooks Let's... actually took place on the cooking side. Have a little bit of tasty of that. Ooh. Here, just lick it. Just get a little bit of lick. Okay. All right, so next room is the kitchen. I think we filmed the vast majority of videos here. This is where all the ketchup cooks. It's a perfect kitchen for it because, like, you get this little center island and uh, all the showdowns, the Iron Chef Guggen Squad Edition kitchen cooks. Just sprinkle like a little Texas springtime rain. We got a full course meal coming at you. Uh, what happened right there? Rackley's got a handful of juicy worms. I guess we take, we pretty much take pictures and, and videos all throughout this house. You guys see a lot of it, and that's the fridge that we store all the ingredients in. Um, yeah, this was the the mega catch and cook spot. I'm gonna miss this kitchen because it was just so easy to like knock out some white bass. What? What you uh, I was also gonna say this is where we touched some things. Did you, did you oh touch yeah, on I that? forgot about that. Do we have some footage of some of the reactions there? Because <laughs> that's where we touched some really gross stuff. It's really wet. It's really? furry. It's furry and wet. Really? Yeah. I picked it up. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's a clam. It's, it's, a, it's some clam. sort of I'm clam it species. It's a clam. Oh, <laughs> it's touching me! <laughs> no, what the <laughs> was that? It was touching me. Fair way. Fair one was the monkfish. Who yeah. touched the monkfish? You we had we the, bought the monkfish and you yes. guys touched it. Yeah. You picked out the yeah. best things ever. <laughs> that was Don't fun. Ever get in the Go to Korean markets if you're gonna do a. Uh, what is? What do they call like a touch challenge? Inside the box, touch touch it challenge. In mystery touch challenge. So that's kind of weird. Was. Anyway, yeah. but that's what that was. Yes, yeah, so we filmed like a lot of different type of videos here. Um, then behind you guys. <sighs> all right, oh. so let's explain things. As you may be able to tell, we have just moved into our brand new MTB crib. I don't think we filmed too much here. We might have filmed our first video ever on this exact couch. That was the intro video. Subsequently, we're now doing a outro video of the house. So um, yeah, I don't know if we collected too much content here, but this is the living room. This is a chill spot. We didn't film as much here as we did chill and uh, watch some Netflix, play some PlayStation when we weren't filming, which is fairly rare. But Creation time though. Yeah. Come in here. Oh, I used before. to edit videos here, right? This is like, this is where almost all the videos start is right right in here. Yep. Not a lot of them filmed. This is where this, we start, we sit in here, we write, okay, what do we want to- One v one challenge. Challenges. Um, catch and cook challenge. Brainstorming. Brainstorming. All of them. <laughs> what other challenges do we <laughs> it's do? It's totally blank It's empty, right yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, we've got a bigger whiteboard, it's elsewhere, but this is usually where we do a lot of brainstorming. So I guess it was kind of a, a spot that we didn't necessarily film much at, but we would come together and come up with ideas. It's such a comfy spot. This couch is freaking monstrous. Yeah, and I, you know what? A lot of the focus on the next place, the warehouse, kind of kind of starts with this idea of like a gathering spot, then we have a board, and then we just start talking and, and just flood ideas. So we're gonna have a whole creation room there. It's gonna be really cool. Very dangerous. So this, this wall was supposed to be a notorious wall. It was supposed to be the Great Wall of Bass, the uh, Hall of Fame for everyone's 10 pounders. Unfortunately, <laughs> no one caught 10 pounders last year except Rob Turkla. So Rob Turkla has fat dongle number one and fat dongle number two. Two amazing, beautiful fish, both I believe caught in uh, Texas. But hoping, hopefully this year we both get to add some fish. We're gonna take these fish. We've already gotten close. Yeah, we, I've caught two sevens. I'm like three pounds off. I'm, I'm getting there, but yeah. Anyway, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna do the same concept in our new place, but hopefully with other other people's fish because, uh, well, Rob's kind of smoking us with the 10-pounders. <laughs> nah, dude, it ain't Rob's year. He, you know what, No, nah, it's our year. <laughs> Rob only knows one technique, and I think we all know what it is. It's just flipping. So it's only like, it's like I was gonna March say, through April, April. He's good, and then <laughs> summertime, it just falls off too. That's wrong. That's Talk about that smack, bro. I mean, I fish with them the most, I can say. So. Hey, guys. How's it going? How's it going? You can have a seat. So, uh, I mean, we ready to do this, guys? I'm super on board. Oh, hold on. Okay, moving to the eastern end of the house. So we, to my left, we've got the meeting room. This is where we had our very serious meeting. So, like, that was kind of casual meetings on the couch, and then more serious meetings. We had people over here. Secret stuff. Secret Guggen bait that. stuff. Don't show anyone this. Hey, we're going to show you this, but Brian's going to do a great job of blurring it out. This may or may not be a new color of the bandito bug. So, stay tuned for that one. There you go. <laughs> 
Boom. Okay, um, so yeah, meeting room, nothing too exciting. Over here, this room has been essential for us. Like this is, I would say, 100% a content room. So check it out. One, two, three. Oh no, they're Guggen cast. Welcome back, guys. Who's excited to be here today? Hey, I'm excited. Yay. It might be interesting to get a different angle on what this room because wow. usually the camera's over there True. facing us, talking, Spot podcasting. Through. And then we've got all the beautiful fishes behind us. Some have made it through this entire journey. Some rest their little fish souls. I believe one of the fish in there ended up in a kiddie pool behind the house and uh, He's not gonna make it to stage three to our next location. So um, hopefully yeah. he makes the move. He should yeah. be fine, he's a pretty hardy guy. If he makes it from a kiddie pool to a giant fish tank, I think Gary will be all right. But there's Gary, Gary's a legend in the MTB trip. He will forever be the mascot of the Guggen Squad. And um, as you guys know, this is where we filmed all of our podcasts. And then we also have a lot of the stuff that y'all have seen and there's actually much more than this. We're packing it away, going to the new warehouse. We hope to have a huge mega giant wall. I'm picturing wood, like some natural wood. Hobby? Cabins? A cabin style, yeah. like a wood wall. And then oh. all of your guys' great stuff. And then photos, like, like an old cabin feel. Like we want all you guys to come by, take a photo there, maybe with Gary, and then we we'll post it up and just have a big wall. It's all about you guys. Nice. Oh! Time for the backyard. backyard barbecue. Beautiful weather yep. here in North Texas this time of year. This is why we're not fishing today. We're doing a uh, <laughs> end of the end of the MTB era house tour. Uh, well, anyway, this is the Guggen backyard. This is where the little kiddie pool is at, where um, Gary originally lived. Oh, wow. Howdy, folks. We are back. Uh, we've had, had a campfire back yeah, here. We had a, yeah, we had a podcast out here, a campfire podcast. Also did some archery stuff out yeah. there yeah and the blindfolded finding the uh the paintball oh that's challenge. what that's what it was right yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> we also shot each other with paintballs back here too <laughs> oh safety's on sorry <laughs> <laughs> Not the best decisions were made in this backyard, but at the very least, it was a fun little spot. Um, actually, Ricky. a lot of room. You could forget the the rickiness. Oh, raccoon! The yeah, raccoons. <laughs> they love this backyard for some reason. They find it to be a haven. They're still back here. They'll be missed. Not really. Well, by Rob, they'll be missed. <laughs> Everyone, get ready. We're going in Alex Barrick's room. Take cover. Take cover, get asthma. down, let's look at some of his great ideas. I've actually never really been in this room. <laughs> You're probably gonna have to blur some of this stuff out. <laughs> Powerlifting. No, no, we can read these ones. Powerlifting. Go on grinder more. Two pull-ups a day. <laughs> smoke, smoke, okay. Oh, Basically, I don't know who it was. Okay. It wasn't me. It wasn't I you. I did not. Someone know. came oh, in Barrick's no. room and, and wrote some really hilarious oh, to-dos. Uh, uh, my favorite one is do two pull-ups a day. On point AP. Yeah, but this is Perrick's room. As you can see, he uh, dropped out of Alabama <laughs> as I dropped out Big of community sport. college. <laughs> Big sport. Uh, hey, roll tide, roll tide. Roll tide right out of your um, your degree. That's a, as I like to say. If you go right above, there's a, probably a safety hazard. It looks like a fire uh, situation. Fire. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there. Must have been beeping. Uh, this is also my favorite little contraption he's got going on. If you need your, if you, <laughs> what works best with one extension that? cord is two extension cords, so that he can. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like I, he's got full radius here. Is, yeah. I, I, it beats me, man. I, I, this room is giving me a headache. Let's move on to some of the other rooms. Yeah. One final note. One memory. I can't believe I did this. Crawled through this window right here. <laughs> to to uh, to try to win, to try to take a risky move and win at the uh, not the paintball, the the soft shooter ball nerf nerf <laughs> challenge, and I really kind of killed myself. So I also am noticing a six pack of Chick Fil A nuggets with looks like maybe some Chick Fil A sauce in the gutter right here. Uh, I'm sure Parrot got that there somehow. Well. We gotta check out Flair's room. We went into Perrick's room. What is something distinct in here? And it says Flair was here. Could it be the 
Justin Bieber poster <laughs> with white stuff on his <laughs> lips, or or maybe the Japanese anime. Five. What's up, guys? How's it going? What's 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 cranking? Here, I'll take these off so I can see a little bit better. So this was my room when I lived here. I actually am now living in a house in, in Dallas, but uh, this is where I stayed. Um, yeah, a lot of great memories here. I filmed some vlogs here. It was quite messy before I left. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. There's not much to say about this room. It's just, uh, this was my spot. We shared a bathroom, Flair and I shared a bathroom. Oh, I guess, uh, well, there might be one thing to say. I think there might be a dead raccoon in the attic above me. Um, it leaked its fluids out. Yeah, that was there. Uh, also over here, the wall started to melt. <sighs> so, uh, man. You know, if you look at this hard enough, it kind of looks like... Uh, it's a Picasso. The ghost off Ghostbuster Slimer. Oh, yeah. One. Yeah, it's kind of it's gotta get that profile. It might be him, honestly. I wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is Brian's room now. This is where Brian stays and does a lot of his um, his camera work, which is nice. It's like his content hub for him, and he can do all the editing stuff and you know create amazing videos that we film in like Mexico and all across the United States. Yeah, I don't miss this room at all, but uh, <laughs> it's where I <laughs> it's where I began here in Texas. Yeah. It's how the whole MTV crib Guggen Squad dream began. Well, this is used to be an absolute trash pit of stuff. There's multiple boats in here, tackle, kayaks. We've since cleaned up our act a little bit, slowly migrating towards the warehouse. Can't wait for y'all to see that. We're gonna have it's gonna be like the Bat Cave. Oh, You're like which tour do you want to go out and do, John? Want to do a little yakking? Yeah. You want to get up in that jumbo? You want to get up in one? Lots of toys. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. it's gonna be tasty. But there was also some silliness that happened out here. Uh, including the Rainbow Ranch incident. Yeah, this is where that took place. Wait, I don't think these are permanent. Oh no! <laughs> um, what in the actual <laughs> they do to my truck? This is a perfectly good truck. Matt <laughs> <laughs> um, wasn't too happy at first, but then when he realized it was just some chalk, uh, he didn't really get that pissed. But then he realized there was. Packing peanuts, a whole load of them in his truck. Then. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> then he really got pissed. Um, yeah. But yeah, the pranks are probably gonna continue. I don't know, we might mess with some other people's trucks in the future. Who knows? I, I don't know. I'm not saying anything, I'm not gonna promise anything, but maybe, you know, <laughs> feel my drift. Anyway, um, yeah, this is where we kept all of our tackle. I think this is probably the last room we have to share with you guys. There's no basement, unfortunately. I would love basement, that would be cool. But uh, yeah, we're super excited, like Rackley said, about this whole warehouse. This warehouse is gonna be just an incredible spot for us to create content. Like, what do we have, like 11,000 square feet? Yes. That actually, is endless. Yeah, we actually have about 15,000 of area that is just gonna be, it's growing. Filming, fishing. Yeah, all, everything. Shenanigans, uh, catch and cooks. What else? Games, activities. Games, <laughs> activities. Fun activities. Anyway, so, so we, took, we hope you guys are super pumped for the new chapter in the Guggen Squad MTB collaboration. Thank you guys so much for making all of this possible. Without you guys, this house obviously wouldn't be a thing. Without you guys, this warehouse wouldn't happen. And we just hope to continue to grow and provide some amazing videos for you guys and share adventures along the way. But that's it, we are signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of the Guggen Squad.